Hello, and welcome to Chemistry in Your Cupboard. My name is Ross, I'm an Education Coordinator for the Royal Society of Chemistry. Today, we're going to look at chromatography, a simple activity that you can try at home. So let's get started. For this experiment, you will need a pen, some kitchen roll, a pair of scissors, some water, and a bowl or a cup. For this first method, you're going to need to draw the best picture that you can with your coloured pen. And here is the one that I did earlier. That's about as good as I can possibly do. So you're going to take that picture on your kitchen roll and place it over the top of your empty bowl. This is to keep the bottom of the paper as dry as possible. You don't want your paper getting soaked. So I'm going to add a drop of water at a time from my fingertip onto my picture. I'm going to do four drops in total. Any more and I felt that the paper would have started to fall apart so I stopped at four. And now we need to leave our experiment for a few minutes to see the results happening and we're going to speed up this video so you can get to the end result a little bit quicker. Now let's take a look at our results. So we can see that from our orange pen, the smiley face has spread out a little bit more and we can see that the orange ink is actually made up of a few different colors. I can see some pink, orange and yellow in there as well. So let's try a different method. This time we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna cut a strip of the kitchen roll from a main sheet of kitchen roll about a couple of centimetres wide, maybe an inch. It doesn't need to be very wide at all. Then we're going to draw a circle or a dot at the bottom of one of the ends of the strip of kitchen roll. It's going to be, again, a couple of centimetres up from the bottom. Now, different to the, the last experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to add the water to the bowl this time instead of adding the water straight onto the kitchen roll. So we're going to pour a small amount of water, just enough to cover the bottom of the bowl. And then we're going to place our strip of paper into that water. And as the water travels up our kitchen roll strip, we're going to see the ink starts to get carried with it. So again, we're going to leave this one for a few minutes because it does take a little while to see the results, but we're going to speed up the video again so you can get to the results a little bit quicker. So we're going to take a look at the results after that speeding up. And we can see that again, the colors have separated out. And this time we've got a really clear pink color at the bottom, the orange in the middle and the yellow at the top. Now do be careful, the paper will be very delicate. Who would have guessed that my orange ink was made up of three different colors, yellow, pink and orange. Now it's your turn. What different colored inks are your felt tip pens made out of? Have a go with your adult and share your results with us and hashtag chemistry in your cupboard. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more experiments coming your way very shortly. Thank you very much for watching.